What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ronnie Pugs back again with another Spider-Man PS4 top 5 video. This time talking about the top 5 Marvel landmarks I want to see in this game. I've mentioned this in my last video but I figured I would share which Marvel landmarks I want to see the most since I have nothing better to do today. Insomniac has already hinted at Marvel landmarks being in the game with the Sanctum Sanctorum shown in the Paris Games Week trailer and I fully expect this New York to be filled with Marvel landmarks that we all know from the comics and movies. And thank you guys so much for the love on my last Spider-Man PS4 video. I really appreciate it and I'm glad a lot of you guys enjoyed it. So here we go, the top 5 Marvel landmarks I want to see in this game in no particular order. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so to start this list off, the first Marvel landmark I want to see in this game is the Flatiron Building. You don't even have to make this building the Daily Bugle, but when I think of buildings in New York that were featured in Spider-Man movies, this is the one that always comes to mind first. Not only is this building iconic for real life New York, it's forever going to be associated with Spider-Man. We've seen this building in the Raimi films, the spectacular Spider-Man TV series, and even Web of Shadows made this building the Daily Bugle in their game. I'd love to see this building in the game, I know some Spider-Man games don't have this building in their city for whatever reason, but the first Marvel landmark I want to see in this game is the Flatiron Building whether it is the Daily Bugle or not. And moving on from that, the second Marvel landmark I'd like to see in this game is the Brooklyn Bridge, but with a twist, when you swing near this bridge, the location on your hood would actually identify this area as the George Washington Bridge. If you're wondering why I'd identify this area as the George Washington Bridge, it's not just because I like the renamed bridges, it's because in The Amazing Spider-Man number 121, the night Gwen Stacy died, the book states the bridge Gwen Stacy died at was the George Washington Bridge through text, but visually it's shown that she actually died at the Brooklyn Bridge. And an idea I've seen online suggests that we could see a rose at the top of this bridge similar to what we got in the Spider-Man Blue comic and similar to the vulture's feathers in the Spider-Man 2 game. I'd include this in the game because the name mistake would be an easter egg hardcore Spider-Man fans would know. And I also have this specific bridge on the list because certain Spider-Man games in the past have only included one bridge. So next up on the list, another Marvel landmark I'd like to see in this game, and it all depends whether we can go to Queens in this game, is one of the Parker homes from the Spider-Man movies. You could choose any iteration of the Parker home for this, but how cool would it be to visit suburban New York and especially one of the neighborhoods from the Spider-Man films? I think we've only been able to do this in the Ultimate Spider-Man game, and the reason I want this is because of a comment on my last Spider-Man PS4 video, from Tiger Mac that reads, It would be cool if they did, like if you want the Amazing Spider-Man suits you find the house from the movies, and if you want the two main suits from the trilogy you find the apartment from 2 and 3, and if you want the wrestler suit you go to Aunt May's house. That's a great idea, it's like how you'd find the suits in the first Amazing Spider-Man game, and it gives Insomniac a reason to put this in the game other than fan service. I'd love to see the suit idea or the Parker Holmes make it into this game. And for my second to last landmark I want to see in this game, and this is just a fun one, how great would it be to see Joe's Pizza in this game? I'm pretty sure Insomniac has already said there won't be any pizza missions in the game, but that doesn't rule out having pizza restaurants in the game, especially one as iconic as Joe's Pizza and their 29 minute guarantee. The pizza missions are one of the most iconic parts of the Spider-Man 2 game and I'd love for Insomniac to include this restaurant in the game as a nod to the old school Spider-Man fans. And last but not least, the final landmark I want to see in Spider-Man PS4 is the Nelson and Murdoch Law Office. I think this would be great to include in the game. It doesn't have to be some huge building like the Oscorp Tower or the Baxter Building. You can make this place look like any other building in Hell's Kitchen, making the Easter egg unnoticed unless players go down to street level, making this one of the harder Easter eggs to find in the game. And it's not like we haven't seen this building in the game before. The Incredible Hulk video game did include this building, and I think it'd be great to include this in the game as a hint to the bigger Marvel Universe, and because when I think of heroes that team up with Spider-Man, I always think of Daredevil first. So to wrap things up, five Marvel landmarks I want to see in this game are the Flatiron Building, whether it is the Daily Bugle in this game or not, the Brooklyn Bridge and your HUD recognizes it as the George Washington Bridge as a nod to the comics, any of the Parker homes from the movies all depending if we can go to Queens, Joe's Pizza just for the hell of it, it's one of the most iconic parts of Spider-Man 2 and it'd be a great easter egg to include in the game, and last but not least, the Nelson and Murdoch Law Office, this would be one of the harder places to find in the game, but it would hint at a bigger Marvel Universe outside of Spider-Man. So let me know what you guys think, are you a fan of any of the landmarks I want to see in this game? Also, which landmarks would you include in the game? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys again in my next video.